Grand Prix champion, but I came in here with my mindset not really thinking about about um, him being the fourth Grand Prix champion. I came here kind of the underdog, so I didn't have much to lose. All I had to do was go out there and run. If I won, I won. If not, I didn't. But so that was my mindset, just going out there, just running my way, racing, getting ready, or trying to get the win. So are you staying home or if you want to switch to the US? No, I'm happy with Nigeria. I'm happy with Nigeria. How did the story end? You're here. Cool? Yes, I'm here. Nigerian. I'm here, so that's all that matters. And you're an Africa champion, so that's good. Exactly. First time African champion. Well, first time running African champions and first time this champion. You pass time to race in, uh, in an international competition in Africa, right? Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. Besides Africa. Besides, besides Nigeria. Calabar, right? Yeah, because of Calabar. Hey, how are you? How you doing? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, I know that's fine. I know where it comes from. It comes from winning, you know? Yeah. So how 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 was it possible? Because nobody gave you a chance coming into this championship. I remember people saying, oh, I mean, can you do it, can you not? But then, how did you manage to go there? Just stay within my mindset. I came in here pretty focused saying I wanted to win. So no matter what happens, I'm going to fight, fight until the finish line. And I ended up with the, up with the win, so I'm happy. And you, you almost got some of uh, Nigerian fans scared, you know, right here. Because <laughs> it looked like you were, you know, trying to stop and you were gasping. And the guy was almost coming to meet you, but you managed it's, to sell through. The thing is, the last part's always, if I don't do the first half right, my step pattern is thrown off, so my mind is like, I go towards the end, do not stutter step. So I'm constantly stopping and going, stopping and going. So it gets scary, but I'm looking forward to fixing it up once I get to practice a little bit more. I haven't practiced hurdles in like two weeks, so it's fine. A lot of people say Nigeria not ending up one in the middle of the fact that they've not had enough rest. I mean, that could be one of the factors, but as an athlete, we have to learn to deal with whatever. I mean, you know, other people deal with things too, so it's just how we individually take it. I mean, some might not get their proper rest, but at the Day, we still have to come out here and compete. So that's the that's the main thing. So what's the next thing now for Michi? What are you planning to do after you leave the Tuesday? Tuesday I'm going back to California, back to the States to okay. talk up with my coach, my agent. We're gonna probably try and get a meet in a meet or two in before um, the Olympics begin. And then just go home, train a little bit. Um, see the physical therapist. Mm. Also, this is like coming to London healthy. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, what are expectations going into London? Because, uh, because the hurdles very, very difficult, and you know you're going to be competing with some of the very best. Yeah, of but, course. So, so how are you looking forward to that challenge? My first things first is just advance through the first round, advance through the semis. The first thing first is to get into the finals. And once mm -hmm. we're in the finals, anything is possible. But the first thing first is just advance safely through each round. And uh, how hopeful are you of getting the medal? I don't want to talk about that right now, but once we get to the finals, then we can discuss that. Because, I mean, anything's possible with any given race on any given day, so you can't really predict. But I'm pretty confident with my abilities. If I run how I'm capable of running, I think I can run really well. All right, then. Thank you very much.